New into stock, we've got a really, really beautiful car. It's a Range Rover 3.6 TD V8 Autobiography. Um, 2009 on a 59 plate, 109,133 miles, but you'd never think so. Fuel economy, 19.5 urban, extra urban is 30.7, which isn't too bad at all, and combined is 25.4. Nought 60 time of 8.6 seconds, which for a two and a half ton car is pretty good. And uh, top speed of 124 miles an hour out of a 272 brake horsepower, 32 valve engine. Road tax six months is £313.50 and uh, 12 months is £570. It's a bit of a compromise, but the car is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's well worth a road tax, it really is. And the, the spec on this car, it's, it's such fantastic value for money. Something like this, it must be a hundred grand's worth uh, when it's new. I'll just show you around it. So we, we've got Xenon headlights, high pressure headlamp wash, got parking sensors in the bumper, the uh, black Land Rover emblem there. Multi-spoke alloys, they're all fitted with Pirelli Scorpion Zeros and the, the tyres are like brand new. Rear privacy glass. Down here we've got the plastic door protector, mud flaps, remote opening tailgate, and it's a two-piece tailgate, so that folds down like so. This, the, the chap that's had this is, uh, um, we've had a few cars off him in the past and they're always absolutely like new. They've always got really thick rubber mats on. The, he's excelled himself with this one because it's got a rear load tray here and then it's got the rubber load mat there. Reversing camera there, then we've got uh, reversing sensors in the boot. Abs absolutely, it's, the inside of this car is beautiful. It's even got leather headlining. Um, it's mint in the back. We've got here, Rear armrest, cup holders up here. Let's see, you've got uh, illuminated vanity mirrors here that fold out. There seems to be a little bit more headroom actually in, in this vehicle, whether it's with the hard leather um, headlining. You've got airbag in the B pillar, airbag in the C pillar. It's uh, Isofix child seat anchor points. Down here you've got heated seat controls and also your uh, air conditioning auxiliary plug here and a couple of um, 12 volt sockets. I'll just take you right in it. Remote key and it's uh, keyless go so just dispose of that for the moment and the start button there it's got the uh, LCD dashboard which is really nice and uh, here we go just turn that aircon down so it doesn't make too much noise a proper service book uh, it's been stamped so the first one there done at Stratstone Land Rover on the 30th of 9, 2010. And then again, Stratstone Land Rover, 26th of 7, 16 1635 Sorry, that was done at 8631 as well. I forgot to mention that. Over the page, 31,946 at Highfield Garage, 14th 9, 2012. 45,970 at Highfield Garage again. Uh, 26th of July 2013. 66,315 on the 9th of the, oh gosh, well, it's uh, September 2014. Um, a few marks off there for four motions, not putting the exact date on. Then 80,771. 
four motions again and uh, first the 11th 2015 the 2016 one hasn't been stamped we'll try and find out about that and then 98,428 James Wright Cars Limited 9th of 3rd 2017 and then here we're back to uh, four motions again 103,394 13th of the 2nd 2018 and then unfortunately this time he's not put the mileage on um, on the 28th of the 2nd 2019 so up to date service <coughs> Today's been uh, a little bit trying. <laughs> it's uh, took me a while to do this video because um, I I don't own this road, but there's been more traffic up here than usual, and I don't know whether anybody remembers uh, the end of the Morecambe and Wise show, where uh, Ernie used to try and get a few minutes to himself at the end and pretend the the show had finished. Then you'd see Eric walking off at the back with his Mac on and a, a paper bag. Well, I, I'm filming and I suddenly became aware of a, a presence behind me and there was a guy with two dogs stood behind me just staring at me. So uh, I'll cut that out anyway. But um, on the, And then a, a council wagon pulled up directly. This road's about half a mile long. There's no, there's no cars parked anywhere. And a big wagon stopped right behind me and started cleaning the back of his wagon out. So... Fortunately, I'm going away on Friday, so uh, it's all washing over me. And I'm in this absolutely beautiful car. Um, hopefully, it won't have sold by, I shouldn't really be saying that, but hopefully it won't have sold by the time I get back. And uh, it's uh, it really is a lovely car. It's, uh, as I say, this, it's the first one I've seen with this, this leather uh, headline in it. It's just, it's beautiful in here. We've got electric sunroof as well. So that's tilt and slide. So it goes all the way back. Oh, and of course, I'm underneath the trees here. And it's good job I've not got hay fever. A bit's dropping off the trees. And then, there we go, a complete, uh, I'll, I'll do that for the benefit of the uh, cameras so it doesn't overexpose them, but I would be driving around with the sunroof open, I would think. So we've got a heated seat. We'll just give it some gas coming up here because the V8 sounds tremendous. Even for a diesel, here we go. Just lovely. 60 miles an hour there, no uh, no wheel wobbles or anything. Nice and quiet. Um, Multifunction steering wheel you've got here. Also height and reach electric, the adjustable steering wheel. On the side here we've got, um, yep. Oops. Yeah, I'm not going to go any. That's uh, electric memory seat. I just, uh, and of course, it remembers the steering wheel, the seat position, and the door mirrors. We'll get back a bit more comfortable. Nice big thick centre armrest, and you've also got adjustable individual armrests on the outside. Here, a heated steering wheel, which is brilliant. Your terrain response switch here. You can knock the gear stick across like so and change up or down using it. But uh, to be honest, the, <coughs> the engine in this. You, you hardly need to flipping touch anything. 
Oops. This is me driving along. I, if that was somebody else doing that, I'd be calling them. <laughs> and I've just driven half a mile with the indicator off. <laughs> We've got here power folding door mirrors, xenons on the front, headlamp wash, front and rear parking sensors. We've also got a reversing camera and uh, it's got TV as well. The TV is dual screen so the driver can't see it, although I'm thinking it may be on now but of course I can't see it so if it is you can see it's over there and uh, over here I'll just put the nav on so the driver can have the nav screen on and the passenger can watch TV. See if that uh, hopefully I think we're on TV there. We'll put the dual screen on. The, tr the trouble is, obviously, I can't see whether it, whether it's on or not. So it really works. Let's just uh, see over there. TV. There we go. Right, so shall we put navigation on. Right, so there. Navigation from this side. If you turn, and I'll try and cut a little bit in. If you turn around, you can see the TV from that side. But uh, I'll knock the TV off because it'd be just my luck to get a copyright strike for broadcasting. So uh, let's just. And Bobby's there. So we'll go audio, video, and then we'll go on to audio. I should have knocked it off. Right in front of this chap. And cruise control. That's one touch set, so we're just going a little bit fast, I think. Sounded like one of my cameras knocking off. It's taken me so long to do this. So we go 70 miles an hour, under 2,000 revs, two and a half ton car, five people and their uh, luggage in comfort. So bags and bags of room in it. I'm so comfortable. It's just um, somebody on one of my YouTube videos a, a while back. Um, said uh, the Range Rover I was in then was a was a real land jet, and I've I've adopted the saying because it is. It's like uh, it's like being in your own Gulfstream land jet. I'll just uh, Check the door mirrors. Yep, they work. As I, as I said before about, I mean, all that's leather, double stitched leather and perforated leather seats. It's just beautiful. And when you think the price of a bottle of water these days, um, and, and people pay twelve pound for a packet of cigarettes, and the the road tax on this vehicle is 570 pounds a year it's it's an absolute bargain really I, I know which i'd rather have anyway this is 
the not for pulling over unless he's the one escaping so he's uh, he's blue lighting and the uh, the Volvo's still not pulled over gosh finally He's an observant driver, but he got the fright of his life when he saw the blue lights in his mirror. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully there's nothing, uh, nobody will pull through these lights and we can just get a clear run round here. I'll show you, the, there's not too, too much body roll in them like there was in the old days you, you could almost get seasick in, in one of the early Range Rovers and right at the last second oh no no still clear come on air conditioning is working fine there we go so we'll give it some gas around here Gordon Bennett. All the crap blowing off that. the uh, wood insets on the side as well and also in the in the edges of the dashboard and the door cards heated front screen Just wait for me. <laughs> I can't wait to go on holiday. <laughs> now there's an old lorry coming up behind me, so we'll two old lorries, right? Okay. I know when I'm beaten. So no, no cracks up from the suspension or knocks or anything. Right, I'll just... Uh, just a bit more about our web store now. Um, you can now go on, you can get a price on your car from We Buy Any Car, you can arrange finance, you can uh, use Compare the Market to get an insurance quote, there's Compare the Breakdown Cover, and we've also got Warranty Direct, so you, you don't have to buy a car off us, you can use all those facilities to uh, hopefully save you money and arrange the things that you need one thing I will stress, and I'm going to put a link to a, a, a firm called VCheck, VCheck.uk. Um, cars can have very, very bad accidents, and, and some of them are getting back into the market, and they're not recorded on HPI, which is your normal check. 
V-check of three years of, sorry, four years of records now through the salvage auctions. And honestly, you just would not believe the cars that have been put back on the road and aren't showing up as, in, as insurance losses. Um, one in particular I, I saw yesterday, a red Audi A1, it was written off at 20 miles, but it, the front was smashed to pieces. It's now for sale from a private seller. And some of these vehicles make it to dealer forecourts and, and dealers are obviously unaware, they probably do the regular checks like we do. We've now adopted V-Check as well, just to make sure. But um, whatever you do, if you're buying a car privately, well, first of all, if you're buying it from a dealer, check the, the dealer's reviews and the testimonials, how long they've been in business, what kind of cars they sell, Make sure you do your, your due diligence, check the MOT history, and uh, I always meet that guy coming the other way, usually he's on his phone though. Um, yeah, make sure you check the, the MOT history, that it's been looked after, and that it doesn't fail its MOT every year, which means the owner doesn't really look after it. They don't do any preventative maintenance, they just wait till something's broke or, or it needs fixing. Uh, and those usually are the cars that have been uh, abused. Anyway, I'll finish the test drive there. And uh, when we get back to the garage, I'll just show you how to uh, program the sat nav and also pay your mobile. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our, our website, uh, ggcars.co.uk. The web store, you can get to it from GG Cars. If you want to go direct, it's bccars.co.uk. And uh, have a look around. All sorts of car-related gifts, car-related products, valeting products, you name it. Uh, we Even even shoes, the fashion, the lot. Um, and uh, if the video has been of any benefit to you, then please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. We put a, a lot of effort into these videos to sell the cars, but they are helping other people. And uh, we, we, we've got viewers from all over the world. So thanks a lot for that. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.